This incredible story happened in the deep forests of Siberia. Valentin was a poor man, without a family, living alone in a village. He had never had the means to pursue higher education, but he was a bright, kind man who did not shy away from a challenge. When he was offered the position of forest ranger, he accepted without hesitation. The job sounded perfect to him. He had lived in the mountains all his life and knew the area like the back of his hand. Every two days Valentin went through the forest and checked that everything was all right. One winter morning, while walking a routine walk, he stumbled upon something that would change his life forever. That day the forest was covered with thick snow and Valentin had to stop every few steps to catch his breath. During one of those pauses, he heard a low whimper coming from somewhere nearby. He paused and tried to pinpoint the location of the noise. But as soon as he made the slightest movement, the whimpering suddenly stopped. Valentin thought he was hallucinating and hearing things that didn't exist. But just as he was about to continue on his way, he heard it again. This time he was able to locate the sound near a bush in front of him. He cautiously approached the sound and saw a head sticking out of the snow. It was a tiger cub. The animal cried and shook its head to brush off the snow. Valentin took a close look and noticed bloody bite marks on his body. It also looked like it had a broken leg. The ranger immediately went to help the cub. He picked it up and hugged it to his chest as he quickly made his way down the mountain and back into the valley. Valentin made a bed for the tiny cub out of his old clothes and bandaged the animal to stop the bleeding. He then gathered some sticks from the garden and tied them around the broken leg to steady it. The cub whimpered but let him take care of it. Valentin thought the tiger must be hungry, but he didn't know what to feed him. In his helplessness he warmed up some milk and brought it to the little tiger cub. The tiger was tired and in pain but seemed interested in the milk. Valentin put the bowl on the floor for him and he slowly began to lick up the milk with his tongue. The ranger continued to devote his days to caring for the tiger cub. The man asked how to feed the animal and the cub grew bigger and bigger every day. Over time, his injuries healed, but a long scar remained on his leg. Valentin named him Gore. After six months, the delicate cub had grown into a majestic tiger. Gore often accompanied Valentin on his forays into the mountains. On these walks, Valentin noticed Gore frolicking and playing in the grass like a giant house cat. The ranger was happy that the tiger was happy. However, the ranger was aware that Gore was still a wild animal and not cut out for life in captivity. Valentin had to make a difficult decision. He had to release Gore into the wild. The man took the predator to the forest and said goodbye to him. But as he set off, the tiger followed him, just as it had for the past six months. Valentin didn't know how to get Gore to stay in the wild. He tried yelling and shouting, and his plan seemed to work. Gore had never seen his master angry before. Terrified, the tiger ran into the forest, and his human friend went back to the village with tears in his eyes. Valentin continued to patrol the area. But he never saw Gore again. For years later, Valentin had almost forgotten the tiger. The man was struggling with physical problems. During one of his daily forays, the ranger fainted and was accidentally found by another villager named Dimitri chopping wood nearby. You can't imagine what would have happened if the man hadn't saved him. When Valentin was out in the woods again a few weeks later, he felt a tingling pain in his waist and fainted again. In this case, too, his guardian angel seemed to have meant well for him. Valentin was discovered by a hiker and taken to a hospital. There, the doctor found that the man had acute kidney problems. The ranger stayed in the hospital for a few days but refused life-saving surgery because of the high cost. Returning home, Valentin resumed his normal life as a ranger in the woods. Six months later, however, another medical emergency overtook him, this time his kidneys were in even worse condition than before. Valentin again refused the operation and promised to take more breaks during his walks in the forest. The next summer he was back on patrol when he saw plumes of smoke rising from the mountains. 
The area had been ravaged by wildfires and the ranger knew something was wrong. The flames spread quickly and came very close to Valentine. The man then started running down the mountain as fast as he could. Unfortunately, weakened by his poor health, he stumbled and fell. The man lay helpless on the ground and couldn't get up on his own. Meanwhile, the flames spread mercilessly behind him. The man had already ended his life. Out here nobody would find him in time and soon the flames would engulf him. But in that desperate moment, a tiger suddenly appeared in front of him. Valentine didn't know what to do. The fire was behind him, getting closer by the second, and now a tiger stood in front of him, blocking his path. Valentine closed his eyes and decided to accept his fate. But what the tiger did next shocked him. When it opened its mouth, it grabbed at its clothing instead of its flesh, and began to drag it away from the flames. Stunned, Valentine began to crawl down the mountain behind the tiger. He was almost safe when a flaming branch fell from a tree and knocked him to the ground. The tiger also suffered burns, but did not leave his side. On the contrary. The predator yanked the branch away from the man, clearing the way. He was very confused by the tiger's behavior, but this wasn't the moment to question his intentions. The colossus led him home, and when he was sure the human was out of harm's way, he rubbed his body affectionately against the human's legs. This movement snapped Valentine back to reality. He had thought he was dreaming. But now he recognized his old friend Gore. Though he had grown and gotten bigger, the tiger still had a long scar on his leg. Valentine looked at the tiger and asked loudly if it was Gore. Hearing his name, he looked at him and let out a long roar of approval. After a few minutes, however, the tiger made his way back into the forest. Valentine desperately wanted his old friend to stay with him a little longer, but the animal now knew its place in the world and went back to its natural habitat. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for free. Now watch a video of an elephant who got rescued. The reaction will warm your heart.